a really exciting video for you guys to see. We went to the Loch Lomond Shores dog market yesterday, which was Saturday the 29th of April. And it had been planned for quite some time. We planned it for like over a month ago um, to go. Unfortunately, Jamie wasn't really well, so he ended up having to go home and I managed to stay with my mum and my auntie, which was really good. So I did pick up a lot of goodies for the ladies, as usual, and it was Roxy's birthday on Friday, um, which was the 28th of April, and she turned three years old, so she gets spoiled then, and, and I spoiled them again. And we also got the pet nature box in on Friday, so this weekend has been just full of dog stuff. So, I am here to share with you what it is that I got at Dog Market. It was really busy, there was a lot of dogs there, and we were there for the Dog Market opening, and we thought that you know we would like to take Pixie and Roxy because there was going to be professional photographers there. I would have liked to have got a professional picture taken of the two of them, although the pictures I take are usually quite good, but I feel that I need like a proper professional picture of them, but we decided not to take the ladies just because of how they are around dogs. We thought with it being first thing in the morning, it will be all right, but then an hour, an hour and a half later, there was hundreds of dogs. Absolutely loads, big, small, large, medium, you name it, extra large, the St. Bernard's, the Newfoundlands, everything was there. Um, so I'm really glad that I didn't take them because they would have basically have went crazy and I am in looking into training for them and I am doing different things to help with the aggression back towards dogs and the stress so I didn't want them to put them into a big situation when we're just really starting on kind of wee things out of the park but anyway we decided to go for a stress-free visit and take our time but unfortunately Jamie wasn't well so he ended up going home which was probably a good thing in a way because I did spend more than what I should have done really and I think if he was there he would have been like no clear let's go so I did pick up a lot of stuff um I have managed to squeeze it all into two bags but as you can tell, it's um, pretty heavy going. So, I really don't know where to start. I guess we should just pick a bag, Roxy, and go for it. Should we just pick a bag and go for it? We'll go for this one. So this is a bag with all the leaflets in it that I picked up from the place, which I'm probably not going to bore you with, to be fair. Um, there was like collars and leads. There was a vet creche. Um, which is based in Glasgow and they do like um, raw food supplies, vets, dog daycare and training so I did leave my name and number for the training so that they can get back to me um, but yes we'll see how that goes but I've still to be done to some of these leaflets so I've not really had a proper chance there's Lulu Likes Handmade Treats, Aloe Vera, um, Dog Stay Free this September, so it's like a kind of holiday for dogs and the photography, this is the photography that my mum got from Misty and I wish I would have got for Pixie and Roxy if I had took them. But this woman has, was it Falkirk? I think it was Falkirk she was based. Scotland's only canine photography studio and um, basically you get a one hour shoot maximum of two dogs pre-shoot consultation minimum of one hour session sometimes longer no limit on photographs taken which is like amazing um, digital transfer of images via a safe secure cloud based program of five high res max dpi images i have no idea what that means um, post production on all images and full use of the seven acre studio seven acres I mean come on so I'm going to keep this leaflet because sometime in the future I do really want to get proper photographs taken and um, have them framed or whatever so I will keep that in mind what else have we got just see we kind of leaflets here and there of bits and pieces so I just kind of picked a few things up and um, what I'll do is I'll keep them and have a proper read of them so and I got a free pen as well always like a free pen 
Okay, now let me see. Let me just empty out some things here because I've put bags in bags. Okay. Right, the first thing we went to, we went to Pooch Pantry stall. Now, but when we came back our holiday, we went to Pooch Pantry and we picked up a couple of things for the ladies, which were really, really good. And the Pooch Pantry um, owner was there and she had a stall set up for um, her products and things and so she just had wee kind of bits and pieces on her stall which were really good so we decided to get them both a toy each and the toys were five pounds each however one of the toys only really lasted two minutes like it wasn't even out of the bag five minutes and um pixie had um, just been playing around with it, we threw it, she caught it, she picked it up, she brought it back, that kind of thing. And the next thing we knew, there was stuffing absolutely everywhere. So the seams hadn't really been sewn, it was, the seams were very weak on the toy um, and the stuffing had just all really came out. So um, I emailed Pooch Pantry and they are going to contact the supplier because, you know, it wouldn't really be dog safe if just a wee tiny shih tzu has just kind of picked up and threw a toy or whatever. You know, you think of what a big St Bernard or a German Shepherd or whatever type dog Rottweiler or whatever a place with this toy is going to be demolished in a second. So um, we unfortunately had to get rid of that toy. But the other toy we had was, maybe is it in this big bundle? Here it is here. Picked this one out for Roxy and this is a raccoon and it's got a kind of rope in the middle and it's a long toy. She loves the long toys. So, oh, and it's got a squeaker. It's got a squeaker. And don't get too excited. Yes, okay, so we got that one. So that one's five pounds. And then I picked up a goodie bag for 10 pounds. So this goodie bag contains quite a few things. So let me go through what it is that's in this bag. Okay, now in this Pooch Pantry bag we have some doggy beer and this is Snuffles and it's made in Belgium and it's dog beer for your healthy dog and it's obviously 0% alcohol, can I just add that in? And it has, let me see, what's it got in it? Meat and animal derivatives, well, We'll see ladies, either that or I'll give this away, I'm not entirely sure. Um, vegetable protein extracts. Okay, so it's got chicken and beef, should really be okay, but um, we'll see. I'm not really 100% sure on this, but we will wait and see. The next thing we got was the Beko, the Beko sample pack and this is a food for dogs. I thought this was treats I and mean, then when I pulled it out of the bag and had a proper look at it, it was actually treats. So this is free range chicken. This is it there. And there was wild boar and fresh fish, um, like white fish and all that in the, the bags. So I asked to swap the wild boar out and change it with a chicken because Roxy's had boar before and it's literally not had a good result on her and let's just leave it at that. Um, so yes, this has shiny coat, easy digestion, strong teeth, nothing artificial, grain free and meat meal free. Yes, and it is best as fresh as best and it's free range chicken. And it's got a whole load of vegetables and herbs in it. It's just a, a food, really, it's another another brand of food which is quite healthy. And um, the fact that it's got no meat meal, I do really like. Oh, if I can get it open. Struggled with this yesterday because the girls had some of this yesterday. Here we go. They had some of this yesterday and it's just like wee, wee tiny biscuits. So they look a lot like Lily's Kitchen. Do you want one? Now, right, come here. Sit. Good girl. There you go. There you go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And they smell really healthy too. I hate to think that the fish and the boar would taste like, would not taste, but would smell like. Like that would be pretty ugh, strong. Did you drop a bit? There you go. 
Okay, so that was that in that bag. And then we have the Pooch Pantry Fish Sausages, Green Free Dog Treats. And this contains white fish, vegetable glycerol, potato, basil, a couple of other herbs, thyme, parsley, oregano, things like that. And that's it really. Um, they are uh, feed one or two a day as part of a balanced diet. And they are like link sausages as well. I'm not really going to open them up because I think when I open them, I'm going to need to use them. And I've got quite a lot of treats open from like our pet nature box and stuff. So there's some treats in here that I have to use within a week because they're fresh and they're all natural. Um, and they've been home baked, so I have to use them within the week. So I think those ones I'll open first compared to the ones that have quite a good expiry date on them. The next thing we have, which we've always had and we've had many a times before, is the Billy and Margo doggy popcorn. And this doggy popcorn has got seaweed seasoning, which we love. And again, once this one's opened, we have to use it within seven days. So I'm not going to open this one because the expiry date on this is actually August. So we have until August to use it. So I'm going to keep them sealed shut. And then we have this. Now, I didn't know what this was until I opened it up and I'm like, oh my days, my girls, like I'm never ever going to get through this. And it's solid. Like this is a treat for a big dog. Like I can't imagine giving them to my two. But this is a pointer big bite and it's lamb and rice. Wait till you see this biscuit by the way. Like, I would take to think for somebody who has a, a Chihuahua or a Pomeranian to buy this bag because it would be like, this biscuit would literally be the size of them. But look at the state of this. Look at this. Look at that biscuit. That's huge. Like, there's my hand. The biscuit's huge. It's the size of my hand. And it's lamb and rice. It smells good, but I think it's really hard. Oh, oh I've just hoovered. <gasps> you can have a bit of this each. There you go. How about that? There you are. There you go. And again, I don't really know because it's not got a date on it as well. That's the thing about these. Is um, you don't have an expiration date, so but it's not really something I would really give them really to see. I know I got the bag, but um, I didn't think this size of bone would be in it. But I mean, it is good, and you can break it up, which is fine because you can break it up into wee bits and just put it in a jar or a bag and use it. But is that tasty, well, it picked it not so approved anyway, which is the main thing. Okay, so that was everything from Pooch Pantry stall. That was actually quite a lot from their stall. I love Pooch Pantry and I've always said it in every video that I do in for Pooch Pantry, um, they, I absolutely love the stuff. So that's all Pooch Pantry. Okay, now let me see, let me see. Let me do the bag of the other stuff first. Oh, I got this wee keychain. I picked that up. That was about £2.50. And it is a wee um, paw just for my keys. Oh, dear goodness. Don't choke on it, you silly monkey. My goodness. So I'll put that back in there. Okay, now I went to another stall that do kind of fresh home baked treats and these are, let me take this off, these are Tilly's homemade doggy treats. This is from Tilly's homemade doggy treats. So these are homemade fresh treats and these are the ones that we have to use within like a week or so um, in a couple of days. So what I will do is I'll have all the links to it and all the names of everything down below in case you want to go ahead and check it out because they do, you can buy them online as well. So the healthy dog treats homemade with fresh ingredients. They do birthday cakes, birthday hampers, personalised treats and biscuits. Now let me, in fact that's it there, let me show you guys. There you go. Okay, so let me see, what is it we got from here? Because I'm going to need to try and remember what is what. 
Now, I seen these cakes um, at this stand and I thought I really need to get one. I've not really bought any other cakes for them before. Um, it was just always been the pup cake ones, but these are all natural. So this one I got is blueberry and honey. So this is what it looks like and it is just a little cupcake with a blueberry on the top and some kind of cheese spread topping or something anyway and with a blueberry on the top so when I have that between the two of them I don't really know who's going to get the blueberry I really don't it'll be a fight between the two of you this needs to be eaten within a couple of days okay now the next treat we got from them is um, these are turkey and green bean and that's the biscuit there and these are wholemeal flour, coconut flour, coconut oil, eggs, turkey breast and green beans. Keep refrigerated and consume within seven days. Okay. Let me open these and have a look. Ooh. I can't find. Now I'm going to half one. We'll half it because some some of you haven't eaten breakfast this morning and although we're doing this video and we shouldn't be giving you treats, you shouldn't be getting anything and you still want you to eat your dinner, so we will do a half a biscuit. That is it there. Look at it. It looks really good actually. And it smells like something I could eat. Excuse me. Are you ready? Now here you go then. Oh, careful, careful, calm down. Nice, gentle, good girl. Pixie and Boxy approved. Like, let me just show you guys how soft these are. Now, when the, I spoke to the woman about it, they last up to seven days in the fridge, but you can also freeze them and just take them out when you want to defrost them, and you can even give them to them frozen as a kind of cool treat as well. So, let me just show you. So, that's it there. So they are very, very soft, as you can see there. I've just broken a bit off there, right? You can have that one. But no more, well, not that one anyway. <laughs> so yes, and oh look, they've got a self-adhesive bag. So you just peel this off and you can stick the bag down. That's a really good idea, I like that. Okay, so that was those ones. And from the same company, we got a different flavour. So, where's my other one? Oh, it's still in the bag. Too much stuff. Okay, so, this is the next one. And these are the kind of twizzly things. And these feel, still feel quite soft, actually. And this one doesn't have a sticker on it. And I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it's chicken and broccoli. Because I can see bits of green broccoli in it so they are and they had loads they had fish and tuna and salmon and my goodness they had hundreds and it's the same idea so you can freeze them in the last a week wow these ones smell amazing and look it's they're like all twizzled and different shapes and all that kind of stuff as well wow and again let me just see if these are really soft and again they're quite soft as well so let me show you guys what the dog's reactions are <laughs> Okay, so 
sorry you guys but my camera cut out just as I gave him those treats there don't ask me why and I didn't even notice that it had stopped recording but they were went down a treat there Pixie and Roxy approved also okay so that was from um, Tilly's homemade doggy treats and there was another stall that done gourmet treats so we went to Penny's Pantry and we decided to pick up uh, just one bag of treats. So we picked up white fish and potato biscuits, obviously not for human consumption, um, best before August 2018. This is what they look like here. So they look really, really good and they look quite a crunchy biscuit. So that is them. I'm not going to open these just now just because they've had two kind of big treats at the moment. Um, okay, now the next treats we got was, and the last treats that we got, you'll be saying thank goodness, that's what I'm saying, is from Lulu Likes and these are them here and these are the two treats and again they had a whole variety, a whole big section, they've got like big treats, small treats, soft treats, training treats, they've done actual fish tails as like a chew and I'm like oh I just looked at it and I thought oh I can actually see that the actual tail of a fish like really oh no and I'm, I don't do fish I'm not a fishy person I don't do fish okay so anyway Lulu Likes and the website is here so it's Lulu Likes Dogs Treats Code. lovingly handmade in Scotland not the UK Scotland handmade in Scotland Yes, we don't get many treats that are handmade in Scotland. These are all handmade in Scotland. That is right. So they are all natural treats and biscuits. And I decided to buy um, kind of not too strong a flavour. I kind of played it safe with them just because I know their stomachs can be quite sensitive. So I got banana and peanut butter minis, which are these ones. And they are just wee small treats, but they're they're kind of triple. They're kind of they're really hard biscuits, so um, they should be put down a treat. And in them, peanuts, peanut oil, sugar, palm oil, and sea salt. And in this one, we have chicken yum yums, and we have chicken eighty percent, carrots nineteen percent and vegetable glycerin and lovingly handmade in Scotland and again keep cool so these are kind of softer treats I'll show you the back of the package you'll probably see it better there but that is them there so these are we kind of um softer treats which I think will go down a treat I do want to open these and see oh this Smell. Let me see, and these are actually really soft. These will be good for training. Is it going? No, see. Well, that was Pixie and Roxy approved for sure. My goodness, that was good. We'll need to keep them for training indeed. To the peanut butter minis, I'm not going to open just now. So that is them. Okay, now that is everything that are treat based. Now, I cannot remember the price of things because I had £3 there, £2.50 there, a pound there, and I just honestly cannot remember. But I think the treat wise, it kind of ranged between a pound and £3. So it was all in that range, which was really good as well okay now the next thing i got was i went and looked at some dog collars and i hummed and i hawed and i decided to go back and i was going to get a kind of pink tartan type collar for the two of them but unfortunately they only had one small and a medium but the medium could have been reduced down to a small size collar but because when you're reducing it down the double loop bit like the double bit of the the collar was too bulky so i decided against it and i didn't go for the pink tartan but i did go for another color and i absolutely love this 
collar like oh i love it these collars are from rocky and bud and they came in at 12 pounds each yes that's expensive it's twice as much as what i spend in pets at home but these collars are absolutely stunning the color the detail absolutely everything on them is amazing so this is what i got so as you can see it's a kind of peacock type design um, but it's the kind of peacock colours and it has a gold obviously hook on it for you to put your lead on to and then it's got the brand name there and it's also a clip now this clip is the stiffest clip I have ever seen for a dog collar but um, that is literally the collar there and again as I said they had hundreds of different designs, sizes. They had the leads of these as well, but I decided against the leads because we are currently using the halter leads for training. So I want to keep to the same leads. So there was no point in me getting two leads because that obviously would have been extortionate um, to get the two leads along with it. The last thing I got from the dog market, we went to a stand and it had products that you would use on your skin they're called forever living and it's a brand i have never and i will admit i have never ever heard of before until i obviously went to the dog market and the good thing about this is is that it's not just human you can't just use them on human but they're also animal friendly so you can use them on like your dogs or your horses or you know any pets or anything like that cats and things like that they are good with and the leaflet that I have is aloe and animals and it's what's good what is good about aloe for animals so it's like so aloe vera is good to use for animals it has its benefits you know things like that I haven't really read too much into it yet and which I really want to because the sound of using these products on them would be really really good and I would like to see the changes and the differences in them let me just run through a few things um, that you can get so you can get forever freedom which is um, aloe leaf contains over 200 different compounds and forever freedom contains all these nutrients combined with glucosamine chondroitin I don't even know if I'm pronouncing these right I'm probably not but I'm probably making an absolute fool of myself but never mind MSM natural elements shown to maintain healthy joint function so that one is good for joints and flexibility it's also used to treat arthritis digestive problems grass and sickness and many more which is really good now my dogs don't eat grass so they don't get sickness but they do get sickness if they don't eat their meal anyway we've got forever be propolis which supports body's natural defense we and respiratory system we have forever be pollen which is a superb energy supplement before and after exercise we have msm gel which which is essential for the correct functioning of connective tissues and joints and we have a, I've, I've got a, like a whole load of these so let me just get through this quite quickly we have forever aloe jojoba shampoo and this is mild but deep cleansing shampoo and i was told by the guy you only really need like a pea size amount because a pea size amount goes a long way and it's dead concentrated I got the kind of mixer container so you would maybe just put like a pea size amount and you can even maybe dilute it in water and then that way you get more kind of spread on the body which is really good. Um, so this has jojoba oil and it will leave your animals coats, manes and tails tangle free shining with health. So I would really like to actually try that one because although the girls are short just now they've got long ears and their tails are terrible for tangling so that would be like really good to use. We have heat lotion, which is good to use for soothing action on joints, ligaments and muscles. Apply directly onto the skin and under hair. Um, we have, I'm not going to go into the rest, we've got aloe veterinary formula, um, forever propolis cream and aloe vera jelly and forever sunscreen. So that is just like some of the things that you can use for the animals. Um, as well so everything on that list I've just said I've got like a tiny little sample for and I have um, a card oops I have a wee card just to basically tell me 
what is good about it. So like there's one there. And then on the back it has some kind of um, description of what it is good for. And it's also got an email on the back as well, which I can use. But I have the email for the gentleman, which I am going to email about this stuff. So I have quite a few samples. Let me just show you guys. So this is the size of the samples. It is really small, but um, they are enough just for a sample to try. So I've got a sample of each product. Well, not really each, just the kind of creams and stuff. I don't think I've got Forever Freedom. What have I got? I've got Aloe Propolis Cream. I've got the Aloe MSM Gel. I've got the Aloe Vera Jelly. I've got Forever Bright Sparkling Aloe Vera Tooth Gel, which I didn't think I'd seen in there. No, I never. So, like, that would be good for their teeth. And the Aloe Jojoba Shampoo, which is good. So, I'm looking forward. I might actually just scoop all that into the container and just add water and then give it a wee shake and that will do them for a wee shampoo because they've got like hardly any hair now and um, just a lot of hair on their tail and their ears but I went back the second time I went round the stalls again and I went back and I decided to buy one of the products now I think this one came in at 14.99 this is the aloe propolis cream and I wanted to see how it works on Pixie and Roxy because Pixie, as you've seen, I think, in the grooming video that I had done of Pixie and Roxy are at the groomers, that Pixie had these kind of red marks under her belly, like wee red spots, and she's got like wee white spots under there as well. So I want to use this cream on her belly and find out what the results are and do like I've got a before picture so I'll do a before picture I'll use this for however many days I need to use it for and I'll do an after picture as well for Roxy I'm interested to find out how this does for her paws she has really really dry cracked paws but yes so that is what I got at the dog market. Now let me just give you an idea roughly of how much I spent. Jamie's going to go off his head. But I basically took with me £60. And I spent that £60. Jamie gave me £10 before he left and I spent that £10. So all in all at the dog market I spent about £70. Whoops. Um, but you're not there that often and it's not something that happens quite a lot so it's a one off and you make the most of it um, and then I have to say I went £40 over my budget so I probably spent in total yesterday £110 on the ladies yes that is crazy and I shouldn't even be telling you that but I am um, I decided to go into one of the shops that does um, kind of walking gear and like walking shoes, camping stuff. It was dog friendly, so we decided to go through this shop. And as soon as I walked in, I'm like, oh, I need one of them. And I got one of them. But then my auntie was like, that you can't buy one and not the other. So I ended up buying two. So £40 later, I walked out of the shop with this big massive bag. And let me show you because I absolutely love these. Look at these guys. Like they are snoozies, snoozies. Yes, and we got a panda and we got an owl. One for each, and they're different, so they can tell the difference. And they basically lie on them. It's like a cushion, a cushion that they can lie on because they're forever lying on my cushions and they're flattening them down and scratching them all. So um, they do like to lie up on the couch sometimes, which I do allow, obviously. Um, but this snoozy friends is from i don't even know who this is from gigwe i have no idea but that's the front of it there um, and it's snoozy friends and it's obviously for cats and dogs and this came in at 19 pounds 95 and they are warm and comfortable it has a special soft layer inside so it's just like a wee cushion that they can lie on and i thought they can lie on it 
on the couch they can have their own wee cushion or when we're eating our dinner obviously they're not on the couch when we eat the dinner because we don't have a dining room table and um, we are dinner on the sofa and um, they obviously do try and get up sometimes they kind of learn now not to come on the sofa so what i'm tr trying to learn what I'm trying to teach them is that this is their cushion. So if this cushion is at our feet or at the side of us on the floor, then they lie on it. Um, but yes, they lay on it last night and they absolutely loved it. So all in all, yesterday, yes, was a bit of an expensive day. Um, one in a lifetime though, because I don't know when the next one will be. It'll probably be next year or something. It's not something that happens a lot. But yes, that is us. So that was a bit of a... <laughs> That was a bit of a lengthy haul for you guys. Hope I haven't bored you too much. There's my phone going. Who is that? Okay, you guys. So I'm going to leave you there. You bet. Like, thank goodness this video is done. Um, but yes, thank you very much, you guys, for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And hit the bell button down below. Um, if you would like to receive a notification for when we upload a video. And leave me a comment, let me know if you guys have tried any of these or if you guys have even seen these because like I would be dying to buy one if I didn't have one. Um, but yes, so thank you very much you guys and please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!